Hey guys, Aunt Peter, and today we are making pastelas. If you've been on my channel for a, a while, or from last year to last one's when I did Vlogmas, you would know that we made pastelas during Vlogmas. This year we're making them when we're supposed to, <laughs> and doing it so we have them for Thanksgiving, correct? Correct. And you can eat them year round, but you know, we have it almost every Thanksgiving. So, before this video starts, Please, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments. I'm going to have my mom answer them because I probably won't know if you have the questions about the food. That's all my mom. I am just in the, I'm in the between beginner and intermediate stage of making this. <laughs> so if you have any questions about what is what's pastella is or what are we basically where we're from or anything like that or like because I know pastellas can mean different things and different I want to, was it dial, it's not dialect, right, for different Spanish? Different Spanish speaking countries. Yeah, it's different. So if you're wondering why doesn't look like what you think Pastelos is, just leave a question in the comments and I will answer them and my mom will probably answer all of them. But hope you guys like the video. If you do, leave a like, a comment, and subscribe and a little hint for you guys, a little, little sneak thing. I will be doing Vlogmas. I'm going to try to do every 20, all 25 days. Um, and I'm having a custom intro and outro made for it. Hopefully it becomes really good. So let's have the, the uh, video begin. Okay, so what's this called again? That is called achote. Achote, and what is achote? Achote is a spice that we use to get the color um, red out that gives flavor to the sauce of the pateles, what goes inside them. Okay, and now what are we doing right now? Right now, I have actually brought them to a boil. <laughs> and um, I am going to pour this in the water. And as you can see the color, it's given out a red color. Zoom in a bit. Yeah. I'm trying to get something. Gotta get out of there. I don't know what that is, but that's interesting. Okay, and you have to be really, really careful when you pour this. One of the things is we don't want the actual spice to go in there. So, we put it through a slip. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the spice, as you can see, back into the pot. I'm going to put more oil in. Now, in the olden days, this used to be pork lard that we did this in, but for health reasons, we're actually using vegetable oil that is conducive to help with cholesterol. And the taste is the same. It actually is healthier for you and it makes it a good dish. So then I make sure that I clean the bottom off where I poured it. I don't want any fire on the stove. So I do all the cleaning and then I put it back on to re um, get some more color. So I can put it in there. And then we mix this. And well, as you can see, the color is starting to change in the mixture, but we need to add a little bit more color. Now, because of not using and not being able to pick the spices fresh to do this, I'm going to use a little envelope that's called Sasson, which has the mixture of the sofrito to add a little bit, make sure we start getting the color and the taste that we want. There we go. And we do it gradually. We don't do it all at the same time. So you want to see how the color develops. The other thing at this point I have to add is my olives. Let's see. I'm checking to make sure I don't have any open olives. I don't, but I do have some olives. Here or 
is it in my cupboard? I think it's in the cupboard. Okay, go. Let me get it out. There we go. Here's my olives. <laughs> With the olives, you have to be careful not to put too much of the olive juice, but you, what you really want to get in there is the olives. So you get a spoon and you're very careful to try to not get much of the juice. You will put a little bit of it. But you have to be careful because olives tend to be salty and you don't want to over salt. But you want enough of them in there. And the rest I'm going to use on the acapajado so I'm going to be making later. Um, and they will go in the meat. Cook for a little bit and we'll go from there. We're preparing the, the meat that goes inside the acapajados. Mm -hmm. um, and I have to start cooking it slowly. And that is ground beef, correct? That is ground beef. That's half a pound? That's half a pound because I'm not making that much. Yeah. I'm only making a little bit. I don't want a lot of leftovers, honey. We don't need a tons of leftovers. Mm -mm. So this is basically for coffee. Um, the rest of it, I am going to put away. like a certain color because we use it. Yeah. Yeah, it's better. Like this? Yeah, away from your hand. Don't get your hand or you'll bleed. yourself doing it too. Look. See? I eat the pie. Yeah. See this red dot right here? Mm -hmm. yeah. That means you're recording. Yeah. Out of the kitchen. Ow. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Yeah, no, I'm just going with you, you weirdo. Okay, now you got you gotta turn it and get the rest of the skin. All the brown has to be off. I should do it over here. One big pot to put all that stuff in. Yeah. Is it hard? No. Here. What See? Is this? Good job. Put this way. Oh, you did that all. I'm gonna try this one. That no. Yeah, the peeler doesn't do it already for you. Well, sometimes you have to take it off. I'm not 
did this before. Oh, Ever? Oh, I have. Oh, have you? Yeah. When? Like, sometimes they help my mom cook. Oh, do you? Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll ask when she comes back. I can make eggs. You can make eggs? Yeah, I can make eggs by myself. How? Can we, what are you making them? My mom does at the end, the rest at the end because I, I'll probably get the milk everywhere. Oh, really? You can't carry it yet? Well, I can dump it into so much. Get too much? Yeah, if it's like a lot in there, I can't. All right, Mother, what are you making? I'm making tres leches cakes, but I'm going to make them as cupcakes. They did so well last year, right? Yep. As a request from my kids, because they <laughs> say it's easier. It is. And honestly, you just grab and go instead of cutting a cake. Yep. And what are you like, making cakes? Cupcake. It's a tres leche you like. You, know? you, have, your, you have your thing in? No. Oh. I, I, we don't have to wait. Only like don't, when I don't put that in your face. Only when I have mm.
It's about the same amount of food. It's gonna be just less wrapping. Yeah. So it's gonna probably somebody decided to take away some of the paper. wrapping same size basically um. yeah that's all it is you want me to do one more yeah As close as we're gonna get, we have to get that in the frame too. There we go. Okay, ready? No. Making mom. Ready? Here. <laughs> we'll get it. We'll get it. We'll get I it. Keep dropping it on it. That's okay. We'll get it. Let me get it. Let me get it. Do you, do you see it? 
You got it? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Sorry, guys. There we go. Now get some meat. There you go. Pour in the middle. There you go. Good, good, good. How many do you make? I don't know. Mom, how much are you making? Hold on. Well, at least half of this. And then we'll... So that? Yeah. So that much? Yeah. And then we'll fry. What do you think? Wait, do this one or this one? That in yeah. there and these fry. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is start time. Huh? I mean, yeah, maybe mom just the tad. Wait, hold on. Wait. No, do right, like right here. Right here. Yeah. There you go. Gonna get a little bit more. My favorite show. Make sure it all gets right here. A little bit. No, I don't go home. <laughs> There you go. You're good. You're good. You're good. It's kind of all over. It's sure, there's some meat in there. There's no meat there. Get, let me see. There you go. There's meat. Just a little bit. I mean, yeah. you know. You are. You're doing a good job, Sophie. Thank you very much for helping us. You know, this is a tradition in our family to do this, to make this dish together as a family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, come on. Well, Jesus Aren't you glad you are part of the tradition? Yeah. <sighs> Delegate it back to the job. I did as a kid. Mm -hmm. Oh, Sophie, be careful. <laughs> it's okay, we're good, we're good. We're good? Yeah. Be careful, baby bug. Are you going to try this when we, when we have it for dinner? A little bit? I'll give you a bite. Uh -huh. it'll, it'll look weird. Like you, you look weird. <laughs> You're good. That's good, Sophie. Good job. Let me see it. Don't, no, 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 no. Don't do that. What's it taste like? Keep going. Chew it. Chew it. What's it taste like? Keep going. Keep going. You have to swallow it. It's already put in your mouth. It's supposed to taste like that before you cook it. Oh, you have a chunk in your mouth. That's why. You spit it out in a napkin. Hold on. Or in the trash right here. There's a bag. Go, go, go. <laughs> she got a little That's chunk. Not, I thought I had gotten all the chunks out. Oh, I didn't really pay attention. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. I hey. quite few of them. Well, we gotta keep moving. We, we still have to have. be careful that they're not spilling out the ends, cause. Okay. Come on, Sophie. Wait. Oh. 
So you screwed it, you go shh, 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 all the way. Okay, right foot. Okay, right here. Right here. Make sure that doesn't go on the side. That's good. Start it around. Like that side? Yep. There you go. My big hand of baby food. Baby food. I mean, it could. But no. Done. Well, no. You didn't spread it out, you weirdo. <laughs> I'll fix them, don't worry. Don't. Give me the thing. There you go. You're good. Hold on, don't go too fast. We gotta make these right. Yeah. Some of these. What? This one. It got a little bit too much. I don't know if you gotta be careful. Hey, it still work. Yeah, but when you tie them, um, let's see what happens. For a little bit less. <laughs> Good. Well, we're like Costa or something. Huh? It's silly. She's like. Oh. It's still going. You're good. Baby shoes. This is silly. Now, please, the masa. What? She's putting a bit too much masa, honey. That's the problem. Okay. We'll do less. I'm putting it on. Okay. Don't do it yet. Is this enough? Yeah. Try to wait though. See, the, the shorter paper is unforgiving when you put too much. It's not like the yeah. big one. There you go. Spread it. Good. My bag came off, babe. Oh, it's silly. Oh, it's a little bit more than that, though. 